Contrary to what many people have been told and what they believe, salvation is not an easy matter. Not many people will be saved. Not many people will enter the kingdom of heaven. Somebody asked Jesus, I read from Luke chapter 13 verse 23. Someone said to him, Lord, are there just a few who are being saved? And he said to them, Strive to enter the narrow door, for many, I tell you, will seek to enter and not be able. Dear friends, to enter the kingdom of heaven is not humanly possible if we do it by ourselves, in our own power, without the guidance and the help of Jesus Christ, we cannot do it. If we do not know and follow Jesus Christ, we cannot find the entrance to the kingdom of heaven. And that is why Jesus sent us a helper, someone who will help us, who will guide us, and who will teach us. And that is his Holy Spirit. That is why Jesus consoled his disciples and he said to them, I read from John chapter 14 verse 16, I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper that he may be with you forever. That is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it does not see him or know him. But you know him because he abides with you and will be with you. He was talking about his spirit, the spirit of Christ. That is why he said, But you know him, because he abides with you and will be in you. Jesus Christ was physically with him, and he promised them that his spirit will be with them to help them and to guide them. I read further, John 16, verse 7. But I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him. And he, when he comes, will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Concerning sin... Because they do not believe in me, and concerning righteousness, because I go to the Father, and you no longer see me, and concerning judgment, because uh, the ruler of this world has uh, been judged. Jesus promised them that he will send his Holy Spirit to guide them and to teach them, not only to them, but also to those who would believe in him after believing the preaching of the first disciples, those whom he would send out to go and make disciples like they themselves were disciples. Jesus also said, and I read from John chapter 16 verse 12, I have many more things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will disclose to you what is to come. He will glorify me, for he will take of mine and will disclose it to you, all things that the Father has are mine. Therefore, I said that he takes of mine and will disclose it to you. We will not find the entrance to the kingdom of heaven on our own. Not by our own efforts and not by our own initiative. Not by reading the Bible and applying biblical principles. We need to be born again of the Spirit of God. We need to receive the Holy Spirit of Christ, the baptism in the Holy Spirit, 
so that the Holy Spirit, the Helper, will come and dwell in us and be with us, to guide us, to teach us, to coach us, and to bring us into fruitful work for the kingdom of God. There is no way that we will be able to do the will of God, to serve His kingdom, if we have not received the Holy Spirit, and if we are not guided by the Holy Spirit. Your faith alone cannot save you. Your Bible knowledge cannot save you. All that will save us is if we have the Holy Spirit of Christ in us, follow Him and obey Him. Jesus Christ promised the Holy Spirit to all those who obey Him, to those who obey the gospel of Jesus Christ, His words, those who embrace Him, who believe in Him, and who repent who turn away from their wicked ways, who turn away from a following after their own desires, following their own mind, and who open themselves to the Holy Spirit, who invite the Holy Spirit into their lives, and who ask Jesus to baptize them, to fill them with His Spirit, so that they can be led by the Holy Spirit. Those who are being led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Dear friends, we cannot make it without the Holy Spirit. We need to have the driving force of the Holy Spirit working in us. The Holy Spirit will teach us, will guide us, will discipline us, will correct us, will tell us things to come. Jesus himself said that he had many more things to tell his disciples, but they could not bear it. Those things were not spoken. They were not written in the Bible. They were not recorded by anybody. They were not heard by human ears. Those things were reserved for those who follow Jesus Christ. We each and every one of us who follows Jesus Christ, we each have a specific task, a job, a purpose in the kingdom of God. And the only way that we can fulfill that task, that mission, that calling, that job that He called us for, is if we are guided by the Holy Spirit, if He dwells in us, if He motivates us, and if we follow his guidance every day. Without Jesus Christ, we cannot enter the kingdom of God. Without the Holy Spirit of Christ dwelling in us, we cannot serve him and do his will. We need the helper. We need the Holy Spirit. We need that driving force of the Holy Spirit of Christ in us to coach us, to motivate us, to enable us, to energize us, to fire us up for the kingdom of God, because our God is a consuming fire. And those who walk with Him walk with fire. They have the fire of the Holy Spirit burning in them. They have the driving force of the Holy Spirit motivating them to do the will of the Master. Have you received the Holy Spirit of God? Is that fire burning in your heart? Do you have that driving force of the Holy Spirit, that fire in you to energize you and to drive you into doing the will of God? May Jesus bless you.